Hey, guess what? What? It is I, oh. Rubix. Hey guys, welcome to the party. My name is Ripper X. Today we are checking out a new MMO that combines FPS and TPS with RPG elements. The game is called Escape from Tarkov. Now the game is being developed by a Russian game studio out of Petersburg called Battlestate Games. The footage we are watching is pre-off gameplay taken from the devs YouTube channel. I will link that below. But for now, let's go over some of the frequently asked questions about the game and talk about some of the upcoming features. Currently, Escape from Tarkov will not be a free-to-play game. It will be buy-to-play with possible DLCs later on. There will be no microtransactions in this game. Will this game be a session-based shooter? What game modes is it going to have? No, the game won't be session-based. They say it has several game modes. The player has one life, and with dying, he loses everything that was brought to the location or found in it. They say the first and essential game mode will be available with the game's release, and that's going to be the story mode. Now, the game session, typically an hour or an hour and a half long, will take place on a large 5 to 10 square kilometer open world location. The player will have to clear all of these raid scenarios with several possible exits, each determined by the game story. By completing one scenario, the player unlocks the next one. Players can return to the previous unlocked scenarios and search for certain loot, or a more detailed exploration, which can possibly lead to side quests and locations. When all scenarios are completed, the player will unlock free roam mode, which will grant access to the entire open world without any limits. There's also going to be an arena mode, which will be more closely resembling gladiator type fighting and smaller scale combat. Can a player complete Escape from Tarkov alone? They don't intend to make a single player offline campaign. Although anyone is free to try to complete the game alone, they do recommend playing with a couple friends, or trustworthy companions. Now, what type of RPG elements does the game offer? The main elements are the inventory system, leveling, and character skill upgrades. New levels are gained by acquiring new experience from combat, looting, healing, exploration, lock picking, etc. The skill upgrade system resembles that of the Elder Scrolls, with skills being upgraded by completing the same action, and the player stats are affected by learning. With every skill upgrade, the player discovers new tactical opportunities, and the stats max to the top give access to the elite skills. A new feature also makes players forget skills that aren't being used for a long time. Will there be clans or other types of player groups in the game? Yes, the game will feature a clan system that will allow players to assemble their own groups. There's no limitations in terms of clan activity. It could be a combat-centered clan that really focuses on hunting other players, or a trade guild that has both traders and loot collectors. Does the game have an economic system? Yes. It features a wide open dynamic economic system where players will be able to trade with other players and NPCs. There's going to be floating exchange rates, shortages of goods, and even a trader's health can affect the market prices. How realistic is Escape from Tarkov? Your character can fall victim to a number of hazardous influences, such as wounds, infections, dehydration, starvation, and so on. He's also affected by hypothermia, concussions, and more. Players will have to use correct medications at the right time, you're also going to have to load weapons manually, and again, load them carefully because apparently uh, you need to avoid jamming the weapon, so there's the possibilities of that. How realistic is the shooting physics of this game? Uh, they say the weapon will behave very realistic in combat with recoil, jamming, misfiring, ricocheting, and more. Will there be weapon crafting in the game? Yes, there will be uh, crafting features in the game. I don't know exactly what that's going to entail, though. Will Escape from Tarkov be available on Steam? Yes. Do you have to buy early access to play the beta? No, uh, there won't be a requirement for that, but all pre-ordering players will be guaranteed beta access. When is the beta testing and release going to be planned? Uh, the closed beta is planned for the first quarter of 2016, with the release being in the second quarter of 2016, so this is coming up. What do you guys think of Escape from Tarkov so far? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, for me, I'm pretty impressed with the graphics. Uh, the gameplay seems pretty realistic, it seems like there's a lot of stuff you can do. Again, all information regarding Escape from Tarkov is linked and credited below, including the beta sign-up page. Also, we have more information here at MMORBG.com for your viewing pleasure. As always, thank you so much for your time, guys. My name is Ripper X, and I'll see you next week. Down. Oh.
Работаем. 